Guys, it is Caleb, and today we're bringing you back another tutorial on Code Academy. We're gonna pick right up where we left off with JavaScript. So let's go ahead and go to CodeAcademy.com, log in, go to Learn, and we're gonna go to the first one, which would be JavaScript. And we're gonna finish our getting started with programming, and we're on Make a Computer Think. This is number three out of five. So here we are. Let me just go ahead and reset my console and my everything. So it's going to talk to us about using console.log. Console.log will take whatever's inside the parentheses and log it to the console down below. In which this is our console down below, and this is our, I guess you could say, our programming, where we type all of our code in our compiler. We can say that's what it is. So it, as you can see on the left-hand side, it wants us to console.log 2 times 5. And you just type exactly what it says, console.log, and it's giving us 2 times 5, which should result in 10. And then console.log, once again, make sure you spell things correctly, and it's going to want us to print out the string hello. And make sure to add a semicolon, and click run, and as you can see, we got 10 and hello, so that was obviously correct. We're moving on to the next exercise. Let me just go ahead and reset everything. We've learned a lot about data types, numbers, strings, and booleans. Let's learn about comparison operators and how they relate to data types. So as you can see, we have a greater than sign, a less than sign, a less than or equal to, a greater than or equal to, and we have an equal to sign, which is three equal signs. And don't get confused between one or two equal signs because that means something completely different in JavaScript and Java. So make sure when you're using an equal to, you want to make three little individual equal signs. So what it wants us to do here is choose the right comparison operator to make each of the four statements print out true. Write two or more console.log statements to both evaluate to false. So as you can see over here in our compiler, um, to make this true, console.log 15 is greater than 4. Um, whatever this xiohuey.length is obviously less than 122. Goody Donaldson it dot length is obviously greater than 8. And 8 times 2 equals 16, so this will get the equal to because 16 equals to 16. Now we're not done yet. We still want to console.log two more false statements, as you can see down here in number 2 and once says to write two more false statements. So to write a false statement, you just give it a false statement. So for example, 10 is less than 9. That will return a false statement. Console.log, let's just say, spell console, right? Let's just use a string here. Let's see, your name and the dot length method and then you want to say your name is greater than a hundred characters which that would be false and if we go ahead and run it down here in our console we get true 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 false false and that was obviously correct so let's go to the next exercise and it says nice work on comparisons now let's take a look at how useful they can be and it's giving us an if conditional statement over here. <clears throat> Take a look on the code on the right. The computer first looks at line 1. If the condition in this case 100 is less than 2 is true, then it executes the code inside the curly braces. So if this if statement results in a true, everything that's within this curly brace and this curly brace will be run, which right now is just this console.log which says you're good at math. And if it's false, it will skip both of these code blocks, or this, both these braces, which is really a code block. And it will just jump down to line 6, and it will just run a console.log. So edit line 1 that, so that your program will print out both statements. So we have to make this true, because right now it's returning in a false. And if we were to run it, it's going to say, just letting you know your program got to line 6. Oops, try again. And it wants us to edit our condition statement. So to do this, 
Come up to the top if statement and make it true by saying 100 is greater than 2, not less than 2. And if we run it now, it says you are good at math, just letting you know your program got the line 6. So it obviously resulted in true running this code block right here, which console.log, you are good at math. And we got the green light, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. It's going to talk a little bit about if else statements. And <clears throat> your robot starts on the first line. If the condition is true, it will execute the code in the first set of curly braces, just like last time. This will skip the else block. But if the condition is false, the robot will skip the first block and execute block after else. So the robot executes the piece of code or the other, depending on the condition in the first line. So pretty much what it says, if this condition is true, do the code right here, which is the alert. Otherwise, do this code instead if it's false. So if this is false, this will automatically get run down here. If this is true, it will just skip the else. And what it wants us to do is fill in the condition in line one of the program that will evaluate to fault that will happen to what will happen to your robot. Fill in some code to run in the condition as false using console.log this time. So it wants us to make this false. And when we make this false, it will just skip everything in this little code block and go automatically to the else statement. So to make this false, let's just do the popular 10 is less than 9. And then else, we're just going to do a console.log. And we can say whatever we want. We just do um, faults. Put a semicolon. And let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, it skipped the first line of code, which was faults. And then it printed out faults. And so we obviously got the correct. And let's go ahead and move on. So now what it wants us to do is rewrite some code. Let me just reset my compiler here. And write the code that contains an if-else statement just like we did in the last exercise. When your condition is true, print to the console, I am right. When it is false, print to the console, I am wrong. Make sure your statement evaluates to false so it prints out, I am wrong. So let's go ahead and get our if statement started by typing if and then our conditional statement wants it to make it false. So to make this false, we have to put a false statement. So if 10 is less than 9 is obviously false. But we're going to play it as if it was true. And if it was true, we do console.log. I am right. And if it was false, we're going to do an else, open curly brace, console.log. I am wrong. And if we go ahead and run this, as you can see, since 10 is not less than 9, we're getting a false, and it's going to run our second code block, which is console.log, I am wrong. But if it was true, it would run I am right, which is false. So take a minute to wrap your head around that. <laughs> Make sure if you get stuck, to show the little hint down here in the bottom left-hand corner. If the ling.length equals 4, do this, else, otherwise, do this code instead. So let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. Let me go ahead and reset this. Yes, reset. And what it wants us to do, it wants us to fix all the errors that are in this compiler. And as you can see, if the if statement does not start off with curly braces, it starts off with parentheses. And what we want to do is change the curly brace to a parenthesis and change the parenthesis to the back to the curly brace. The console.log is fine, except you're missing a semicolon. We're going back over the close our code block, deleting this one parenthesis to open up a new code block for our else statement. Console.log is fine with that, it just needs another semicolon, and then we're going to end our code block off of this. So if you do everything correctly, you should get if parenthesis 10 equals to 10, then console.log you are true, else console.log you are false. This is going to result in true, and we're going to get the green light and start our next section. 
Alright guys, thank you for watching this section. If you like the video, make sure to like it, thumbs up, favorite, subscribe down below. Um, you get stuck, leave a comment, message me, do whatever. Um, spend a little bit of time on Code Academy. Make sure that you read everything on the left hand side. Alright guys, until next time, thanks for watching.